Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel ClickView Enthusiast. I am Abhishek, a ClickView learner and in this video I will talk about the agar or aggregate function. So aggregate function basically helps us to aggregate the data over the dimensions. Now this definition or this syntax of AGGR function that I have showed here is very simple in nature however it is one of the very advanced function in click view now why I have used the very simple definition and the syntax over here is to basically uh, give you the idea if you are hearing or uh, you know getting the knowledge of this function for the very first time as I said that uh, this function helps us aggregating the data over the dimensions and uh, when I say this, uh, those who who uh, have the experience of SQL coding in SQL can compare this function to the group by function, which also does the same feature uh, when you are grouping the data over the dimensions. So uh, before further talking, let's talk about uh, how we can use it in the uh, click view and probably with the help of a scenario because uh, uh, you know when you will first use it or first understand about this it will be quite confusing when to use it or uh, in which conditions we can use it so let's review this data uh, which is present here uh, as you can see this is a order related data which uh, has the employee id and the customer name so these employees have sold the uh, products to these customers and their uh, order related information is here when the order was captured what's the order id and you know things like that so uh, and beside to that i have created a summary tables for the orders so you can see by each employee how much order they have uh, uh, sold or how much product they have sold by to these customers so this is this is very simple you know you are just getting a sum of orders no no problems in that but problem arise when the business condition is to get the uh, maximum order amount for these customers. Now if you see here uh, this data, these employees who have actually made the sale earlier to these customers, uh, they are making, so this Andrew is making a sale to company C, company D and two times it has made a sale to company F. Now when I say that I need a maximum order amount, the total order amount by the customer that means that my result should not bifurcate these two lines as two different customers. However, it should club the order amount of these two rows and give me the result accordingly. So for these kind of business conditions, you know, where uh, we need information which are uh, which are involving couple of dimensions. So for example, here it is employing em employee name and the customer name, and then you know, uh, as we need to pick up the maximum uh, order amount. Now one can easily say that uh, you can go ahead and simply use the max function. You know, max is like maximum function and get the maximum value. But that maximum function will basically get uh, or, or will basically treat these two rows as two different rows. But that's not what management or the business condition is. So so let's let's use both max function, the maximum function to get the maximum value by each employee and the agar function to get the uh, maximum order total order amount by the customer name. So here is our order table. We will just drag it down a bit and right click on click on properties. Here is our uh, small expression that we have wrote sum of order total. Now let's add a expression. So first one is very simple max. That's what I said. And the brackets, we will get the field name as order total. And we'll click OK. We will give name as max order. And we will add another expression 
and we will now write the uh, syntax for getting the maximum order by the customer name so what we will do we will involve first max because we need the maximum value now of within these parentheses of max function we will write the aggr function the aggregate function the its parentheses now the first thing is to enter the expression here is what i meant uh, wrote over there when i uh, mentioned the definition of uh, agar function so first is the expression which is sum of order total okay and now it's we are done with the sum function we are uh, here in the agar function as you can say the as you can see the agar parentheses are highlighted and we will put a comma and we will write the uh, the dimension which is customer name because by customer name we want this information so first thing is by customer name and then by employee so that means these employees has sold uh, the products to these customer and give us the maximum total order amount so we are saying employee id so first by customer name and then by employee id or the employee name so let's finish this i think everything is fine no errors at all so just to reiterate what i have done uh, so let's try let's you try to explain it from the uh, inside so we are first saying that we need this total order amount okay and that's why we have used the sum function sum order total it is the order total field the aggregate function is saying that give me the sum first by customer name so it is grouping the customer and here it is making these two company f rows into one row and then it is saying by employee so it is mapping these two rows to andrew and then when this aggregate function is finished and the maximum function is coming so what maximum function is coming from that table the table it is creating in the virtually or the table which is created virtually that has three rows c d and f in the f row or for the company f uh, it will have the sum for these two orders and that's what the value we will get so so let's click ok and uh, see the result and we will say max aggr order and we will click ok to see the changes all right so as i mentioned this max order is simply using the max function to get the maximum value by employee name so that's why it is picking 2490 which you can see here by for andrew that's the maximum value which is right but that's not what we want the business condition is to get the maximum order total by the customer name so the maximum total order is 2617 what it has done it has clubbed the 2490 and 127 into one row and that's why it is giving us the 2617 as a value so so in these kind of conditions when situation gets tough and uh, you know we need the data over a couple of dimensions in those cases we this aggregate function or aggr function is is very efficient so so this is one of one of the scenarios in which we can use the you know agar function but in many other ways we can also use like uh, if we want to get the minimum uh, order value or uh, it it is also used uh, with the mix of uh, rank function to rank the uh, values dynamically which i will explain in my uh, next videos so minimum is fine because instead of using max you can use the min function to get the minimum order amount by the employee names so so here is this one thing you know getting the maximum order value but when you will present this information to your management they will be asking the next question okay you have given me this uh, 2617 as the maximum order value by the customer name but 
where is the customer name how will i get to know to whom they have sent because if i'll get to know i will you know this will help me to get better insights and i can you know plan better for the future so to get that information that's easy but little tricky in nature so for to get that information to whom they have done this maximum selling we will use the uh, function first sorted value now why i'm telling this here uh, with the uh, agar function is because most of the times they they used side by side uh, to get the information which which we need or the business needs so let's see what it is and uh, let's define the first sorted value function to get the name of those customers where these employees have done the maximum selling so we will click the add to add the expression and we will write the first sorted value first sorted value is nothing but you know it will sort the value dynamically and give us the first value uh, f from those sort sorted values so brackets and for which field we want we want for customer name straightforward but now here we will use the again use the agar function which we wrote it over here and that's the uh, you know catch so a g g r agar the uh, and notice that we are not using the max function here we we are not using because we are sorting the value and uh, we will sort in the descending manner so that we will get the maximum value as the first value and that's why the name itself suggests that first sorted value and here we will specify the descending order so agar and uh, sum of uh, order total all right by customer name that's what we used there and the employee id so we are done with all of this but by default the first sorted value when we give the sort information over here in terms of expression it does the sorting in the ascending order so to get the descending order we put the minus sign so minus is basically telling that based on this condition do the sum of order total in the descending manner that means the 2617 value that we were getting as the maximum order value should come first and that's what it will pick the first the, the customer name for that first sorted value so let's click okay and see let's give the name as customer name click okay all right so as you can see now we can have the company information also that for company f the 2617.5 value is coming which is the uh, maximum order and that's what the value over there also all right so i hope i am able to give you some perspective uh, you know about the agar function with the with this simple definition and how it will be useful to get uh, you know information which are uh, uh, you know which we want by a couple of dimensions and uh, you i hope you will be able to use it uh, for your business conditions so this is pretty much all i wanted to discuss in this video i will meet you in the next video talking about the same uh, agar or aggregate function with a couple of other functions so till then bye bye and uh, utilize this function and understand more about it